In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a very simple toggable light using blueprints in Unreal Engine 4. So to begin, let's say that we wanted to create a light that toggles on whenever we enter a room and then toggles off whenever we exit the room. This can be done very easily using the blueprints editor inside of Unreal Engine 4. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your level. You'll also need a light. Go ahead and select the light that is in this room and I want you to check just a couple of settings before we begin. The first setting would be the mobility. This is very important whenever we want to create lights that toggle on and off using blueprints. It's important to know that static lights will not work in this case. Static lights will only bake uh, to the scene and then they can be turned off or even removed after the scene has been baked. These these types of lights are very inexpensive and they have some really great uses but probably not the best option whenever we're wanting to create a light like this. The best option for us would be using a stationary light. Now a stationary light means that it's going to stay in place but we can begin to modify some of the properties that is in the light itself um, as long as it stays in the same position. Now the next um, mobility type that we have is movable. And what this means is it's totally dynamic. It's going to allow for dynamic shadows, dynamic lighting. However, it is very expensive. And if we use too many movable lights, it could be a problem. Now you might be wondering what would be a good situation of using a movable light. Well, in this case, you might want to use a movable light if the light is going to be moving or swinging around. So let's say that you have a hanging light that the player could possibly shoot with a weapon and it would dynamically swing. Um, you might want to use a movable light to show that. But in our case we're going to stay with the default stationary light. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to scroll down to the bottom and we want to go to the rendering section. I want you to remember this because it's going to come up whenever we go into our blueprints. Let's turn off the visibility of this. So basically uncheck that and then at this point what we want to do is go ahead and go to build options build lighting only. What this is going to do is it's going to build our lighting and it's going to recreate our light maps for our level. This is going to be very important whenever we create this toggable light. So now that we have built our lighting, let's go ahead and add in the trigger volume that is going to control the light turning on and turning off. This can be found under your modes panel. You'll want to go to your place tab and then go to volumes and at the very bottom you'll find trigger volume left click and drag that into your scene and place it in the proper place. I want this to be right pretty close next to the table and we're going to lift it up just in case the player uh, tries to jump over that. We don't want that to happen. And also you want to make sure that your player start is outside of the volume whenever it begins. So now that our trigger volume is in place, let's go to our blueprints. Left click on it and let's open the level blueprint. With the level blueprint open, we're going to right click and we need to add an event using the trigger volume that we have selected. So in this case, we're going to say add event for trigger volume. We're going to expand that and we want to go under the collision category. In the collision category, you'll see that we have three different events to choose from. We have add on actor begin overlap, add on actor end overlap, and then add on actor hit. In our case, we want to check to see if the actor, meaning the player, has begun to overlap the trigger volume. And if they're inside of that trigger volume, it will continue to be true. So let's go ahead and use the on actor begin overlap. Now with that set, what we need it to do is we need it to tell it the light itself to toggle its visibility. So let's go back to our room Let's select our spotlight and then we'll go back to our level blueprint and then we're going to right click and we're going to add a function using our spotlight. So call function on spotlight, expand that and go to rendering. Remember we said we were wanting to remember that uh, for later. So under rendering you'll find toggle visibility. With that set, because we had the light selected, it has now taken that light reference and plugged it into the target automatically. Let's go ahead and pull this down underneath and then we need to hook these two together. Notice the output execution node on the begin overlap. Left click and drag that to the input of the toggle visibility. 
Notice how the two icons match, meaning that they are compatible with one another. Same thing for your reference to the spotlight and the target itself. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to turn the light off or toggle the visibility whenever we end the overlap of that trigger. So let's go back to our simple room, select our trigger, and then go back to our blueprint, right click, add event for trigger volume, collision, and then we're going to say add on actor end overlap. With that set, all we have to do at this point is take the execution node of the end overlap and plug that into the execution node of the toggle visibility. So now let's go ahead and test this out. We need to compile it and then go into our level and simply hit play. Notice the light is turned off whenever we start the level and whenever we move into that trigger volume the light turns on. Let's back away and you'll see the light turns off. At this point um, you should not see any errors coming up in your viewport saying that you need to rebuild the lighting. If that is coming up, that means that you forgot to rebuild your lighting with the light turned off at the very beginning. So if that has happened to you, all you'll need to do is go in, make sure the light is turned off, and simply rebuild the lighting. So now that we've learned how to create a very simple toggable light here in Unreal Engine 4 using blueprints, um, you're ready to move on into our many other courses. Now be sure to check back to the Digital Tutors blog for more free tutorials like this one. See you next time.